help them get better each and every day as an older guy. And you know, we're just gonna keep building off that and continue to learn and get better. Coach Sheridan said you had a really good camp. Just how have you seen yourself improve from practice one now to practice 12? Um, most definitely. Um, every day, I just my mindset is one and zero, and how I can get better each and every day, and how to be a better teammate. And, you know, I just keep stacking on that and building and listening to what they say. What do you think is the biggest area of improvement that you've made since you've gotten on campus? Mm, just the connection with the QBs. You know, we they can all we can be fixed. You know, everybody building in, um, just coming together as a team. Uh, that's one thing we can do. What's that relationship like with Jay? And how is that? Oh, it's improved uh, tremendously um, from the spring. Uh, we, you know, built a great connection, not only Jalen with Ty, you know, all us just, you know, practicing with each other. It's been going real great. Coach Sheridan just said, talking about the quarterback receiver relationship, that it rewards people that trust each other. Do you feel like y'all have been able to build build that trust? The oh, most definitely. Um, the more you make plays, the more trust you can get. Um, um, and, you know, just practicing, you know, making the easy plays. That's another thing that can build trust. It's a like learning under Chef. Oh, he's a great coach, man. Um, one thing about him, he's big on faith. We start off with faith, family, football every day, and I love that about him. Um, that's one thing I, you know, I take to heart. So that's a great thing. It's like with the, just his energy during practice. His energy, like, his energy is amazing. Uh, he gonna keep the, he gonna keep us going. You know, he gonna be real loud and talking. You know, he gonna be there. If we don't, if we don't have no energy, he gonna hype us up. Personally, where are you trying to improve the most between now and? kick off a game one? Uh, just finishing plays, um, big play, you know, jumping up, catching the ball, those type of plays. That was really the main improvement. Hey, man, would it be in your first year at Alabama? What are you just trying to bring uh, to Tuscaloosa? Show Crimson Tide Nation, you know, show the country, show your teammates, even show yourself. What's just something you're just trying to show in 2024 that you I want to continue being a great teammate, and I want to continue to be a great um, person and uh, have a great character. What do you think is the potential of this wide receiver? Uh, we have a lot of potential. Uh, I feel like you know, but the world haven't seen it yet, but we're going to be great. Like, we're going to be one of the, the groups they're going to be talking about in the world. You guys have added some key pieces in, in Jeremy and the freshman, mm -hmm. but with you know, Kendrick and Kobe and some other guys back, how do you feel like this group can mesh together? Because you got a bunch of new man guys. Uh, it's messing together well. Uh, you know, each one of us got different skills and types of things we can do. So I feel like with all that coming around, it's going to fit really perfect together. As a returning player, what do you see from a guy like Cole Adams as he's coming to maybe a large role this season? Oh, Cole has stepped up a lot. Um, I'm proud of him, of who he has become today. Um, he's been working his tail off, and he, he's a great person as well. We talk a lot about wide receiver, but special teams, how important is that to you? And be kind of the uh, most definitely, I'll be in the special team helping out whichever way I can with the team. Uh, where I can fit in and help for the team, I'm going to do that. Obviously, he's a physical specimen, but what have you seen from Caleb Odom in camp that has you go? That dude's real different. Oh, yeah, he's real different. Uh, he's a big guy. You know, he's going to go up and make amazing catches. Um, last scrimmage, he made an amazing one-hand catch. That was uh, one of the best catches I've seen in my life in person. So, yeah, he, he's a great person, too. One of the similarities between Washington's offense last year and your guys' offense was the big time plays. You know, Michael Penix Jr., Jalen Milrow both produced a lot of big time plays. Have you seen like bigger emphasis on go balls or just? Oh, they're, they're, they're definitely coming in. Um, yeah, the way uh, we're schemed, our schemes now, a lot of deep balls. I like it. Just going back to the relationship with Jalen, talking to CJ last week, he talked about that trip y'all took down to Tampa. Can you just talk about that, kind of how that helped y'all build chemistry and what y'all did on that trip? Yeah, we went to um, Tampa for about five days, you know, me and a couple guys, Jalen. Uh, we just went down there really to build our connection with each other and build that relationship, uh, get away from Alabama, you know, do some things outside of here. And But that, that's been going really well. It went really well, actually. Yeah, do you feel like that helped you and Jalen's connection on and off the field? Oh, most definitely. Um, not only that, uh, me and Jalen, we've been friends before even Tampa. So it's going, it's going good. Thank you.